Your husband is on the verge of extin extinction. He, he is. I've been saying that for a long time. <laughs> 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 In more name. ways than one. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, Gary, the name Gary, has been dying out. And in 2013, there were just out of 700,000 children born, only 28 were called Gary. Um, but there's this young couple who've made the papers today and they've called their baby a Gary. Gorgeous baby. And they oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> Quite similar. It's um, got more hair they, than Gary. Her, her late father was called Gary, so there's a bit of sentimentality yeah. to it. But also, they've said, actually, we really like the name Gary, and we, we don't want it to die out. And so, and they're thinking of naming their next son Nigel. Nigel. But it did set me. You know, yeah. I have a, a name Jane, obviously, which I think immediately dates me as being probably a child of the 60s. And when I think about all the people I was at school with, the boys were all called Ian mm. and Nigel oh. and Pete. Um, and the girls were sort of Trudy and Karen and Trudy. Michelle. Give me that now. No. Yeah. Wendy. Carol. Yeah. 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 Nah. Uh, Would you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they have completely Ruth, died you don't out, those names. You don't hear Ruth that Actually, often now, do Ruth you? Ruth is quite a posh name. I, I remember girls, you know, very posh she called Ruth. Me. She doesn't know me, does she? <laughs> so does she? What about your name, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> I just say my name when I was growing up at school was so so unusual in this country. Obviously yeah. in Ireland it wasn't, but over here nobody was called Colleen. And all my friends at school, I hated my name because they'd all go, Colin, that's the boy's name. Like, oh, it's not Colin. <laughs> and then I'd get called Clean, which obviously I'm not. Um <laughs> Colina. Colon. <laughs> Colleen. Colin. <laughs> everything. And I do feel, you know, names are important. Mm. It's like I love the name Kira. Obviously, my daughter's name. I love that name. But I really wish now I'd spelt it K-I-R-A instead of spelling it the Irish way, which is C-I-A-R-A. Because she gets called yeah. Chiara, Ciara, Clara. Kiora. Kiora. <laughs> Kiora. I mean, it's really... Irish spellings yeah. can be it quite is confusing. It's a big thing. Yeah. When you're um, yeah. naming a baby, you do suddenly go... Wow, it's a big responsibility. Mm. Yeah. You do think back, mm. don't you, to whether you liked your name or not. And my older daughter, who's Eleanor or Ellie, I love that. Um, and she said to me a few years ago, she went, "Oh, was I was I named after Eleanor of Aquitaine?" Because they'd been learning about it in school. And I went, "No, no, you were named by, after Miss <laughs> Ellie from Dallas." <laughs> When I have a, oh, I love oh, that I love name. Miss I'm going to call my daughter Ellie. Ellie. It's lovely. And then Grace, oh my God, who's 11. We went through this whole thing where we, I said, right, I'm not having a name that was one of my husband's ex-girlfriends. And literally, we went through hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I went out with her. What? No, no. <laughs> so eventually, we were left with Grace. So oh, there we go. Very nice. Well, well when my I... sad husband wanted... I loved the name Jack, but Eamon wanted to call him Alex after Sir oh. Alex Ferguson. Oh. Oh. Sad, sad. I said, I love Sir Alex Ferguson. He's a charming man. Look at Eamon. He's so... Look. Oh. He's like a kid in a sweet he shop. Is. He I did me. concede. I said, we can have it as a second name. So he is Jack oh, Alexander. Nice name, so. nice way. Alex is oh, a very nice name, but it would be a bit sad, wouldn't it? It was Eamon Gaffan. <laughs> Who did you name your son after? <laughs> Alex Ferguson. Well, I, well, in my house, honestly, the Middle East Peace Treaty depended on it because we had to find a name that was culturally acceptable to my family and to Steve's. So it was kind of like, oh, oh my goodness. So we, we, we um, settled on Zachariah because Zachariah is mental in the Bible, in the Quran, and in um, uh, what's the other one that I've missed out? Whatever. Ever, the Torah. Yeah. So we, so that was fine. Uh, but Steve said we we are going to have to have some English names in there. So he's called Zachariah Malcolm Albert Hyde. And when I told my mum, she went, "Don't be talking about Malcolm Albert Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> Just be talking about Zachariah." <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's, 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 it was a massive ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, getting back to um, Eamon wanting to call Jack Alex after Alex Ferguson. When we got our Cocker Spaniel on as a puppy, <laughs> Ray's a mad Leeds fan, and at the time, Rio Ferdinand was playing for Leeds, called the dog Rio. <laughs> Literally two weeks after, no, about three months after, <laughs> Rio got transferred to oh, oh, United, and he went, I'm not taking the dog, I'm not calling the dog Rio. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the park, Change call it, it a different name, it'll never come back. <laughs> so it was real. So the devastated. Ooh. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but you see, we don't want Gary to die because we've no. got Gary, lovely Gary Barlow, yeah. Gary, Gary Lineker, Lineker. Gary, Lineker. Gary, Rhodes. Gary Rhodes. Rhodes. You're yeah. lovely, Gary. We love wow. your lovely Gary. Yeah. Doesn't nice get called Gary. that very often. Lovely Gary. Lovely, <laughs> I call you lovely Gary 